Hi, this is Mike. Welcome back to the Moodle programming series. The goal of this series is to develop a custom Moodle block. In this session, we will discuss instance configuration, block instance configuration. This will be the second session on that topic. And this time we will modify the title of the block through instance configuration. And before we do that, before we get started with that, let's take a look at our site and let's just go in and remove the block and see what Moodle tells us just for the experience of doing it. And we'll go to site administration. Plugins. Blocks, manage blocks. And on this page we see all the blocks that are installed on, on the site. Let's find Hello World here and let's simply uninstall it. See what happens. Uninstalling Hello World. You are about to uninstall the plugin Hello World. This will completely delete everything in the database associated with this plugin, including its configuration, log files, user files managed by the plugin, etc. There is no way back and Moodle does not, and Moodle itself does not create any recovery backup. Are you sure you want to continue? There are one instances of this block. Yes, we want to continue. Okay, the uninstall has been a success. All data associated with the plugin block underscore hello world has been deleted from the database. To prevent the plugin reinstalling itself, its folder must be manually removed from the server now. Moodle itself cannot remove the folder due to write permissions. So it's obvious what we need to do if we don't want to. If we hit continue, then it'll reinstall the block, and that's what we want. But if you actually wanted to completely remove the block from the site, then you can see what we need, what you need to do. You need to actually manually go in there and remove that directory completely. Well, let's go ahead and reinstall the the block since the folder or the directory is still there. Success. Let's go to the home page and let's turn on editing and reinstall the or add the block to the page there it is but nothing's happening. Let's go and refresh the page and simply try that again. Maybe we were too quick. Okay, page is loaded. Okay, that time it it works. So let's go ahead and move that block up to the top of the page. This makes it a little bit easier to work with. Okay. Back to the Moodle.org site and let's go to, our, to the development page. And one more little caveat before we get to the back to the tutorial. Let's take this, let's, this format, and this is just FYI that this is here. This is something that you need to read through thoroughly and understand. And it, at the very bottom, it references the page that we looked at in our last session that showed us the, well, it described the field set 
but how we are setting the the value to the to the legend show the add element function and then the different elements that can be added through through using that function so just FYI that there's just another way to access that same information back to the tutorial and let's do our second part on our instance config configuration in our last session we updated the content now today we want to update the title through the instance configuration in order to do that we need to add an element another element to the form and this element will simply be the value that we that we want to make the title so we'll copy that little code snippet go back to our edit form PHP and add that to the to our specific def definition function and let's do a little editing on what we copied over we'll need to edit the string the label we'll call it title input label we'll need to edit the block that it's associated with hello world and we'll save that we'll go over to our language file and add that string and we'll call it title and block title save that the same thing here the convention is to prepend config underscore to the value that we're going to save through this element this HTML element and if we don't include that config underscore then Moodle will not save it into that config object and the config object that I'm talking about or referring to is back in our block hello world block class it's this element here this config contains all of the instance configuration fields There is a little bit of a difference between what we did the other day. Here we've set the title in our init function. Well, the problem the problem is is the config object is not instantiated at this point. It'd be nice if we could just take the config title and assign it to this title, but it won't work because the object hasn't been instantiated when init is called. So Moodle provides us with a function that gets called immediately after init. We'll copy that function and we'll paste it down here on the bottom. And since we're just going to use the title, just worried about the title being set correctly or through instance configuration. 
Now, if if the title is if this is value is not empty, is it empty? No, not. That means okay that there's a value in it. So in that case, we would set this config title, and this config title is the field that we're actually adding to the instance form configuration form. Then we will assign that value to this title. Otherwise, we'll just define it you know, however we want. In this case, we'll just go with what, what they have here, default title, dot, dot, dot. Now, let's go ahead and update the version. Change the version to, let's make it 2. That should be all we need to do. So let's go ahead and go over here and let's just refresh the page and see if Moodle picks up our new block. It does, or our revised block. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Success. And continue. Let's go to home where we have our block installed. And let's simply see what the configuration. Okay, so there we go. We have block content and block title. And let's go ahead and save that those changes and see Yeah, we'll just do this the new hello world. We'll make that and save changes. So there we go. It does work as expected. Now let's go into another course and just or into a course, not just the front page, and let's add a block in this page. And so we get the default value, we don't get the new, which makes sense. If, like now, if we wanted to add another block, the same block, we can't. And there's a function that would allow us to do that. Let's just go ahead and take a quick look at that. It's in the base appendix A. Yeah, let's do a search here. Alterable. Allow instance allow multiple. Let's go ahead and override it. It's public. Function. We want to return true. Okay. Increment the, the version here. We'll go ahead and reinstall that block. It actually didn't pick it up that time. 
I wonder if I save the file. Try that again. Okay, uh, we had to be on the at or the front page. That's good to know. So we'll go ahead and upgrade the block. Success. And let's go to our home page. And let's see if that is still in our list. So see, it, it does actually work. And we can see that it has the values other than the ones that we had changed in our other. Yeah. OK, we're making progress. See you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.